Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the channel. Today we see a number of examples from the book. Uh, I told you in the previous video that I may not be doing it, but let's see we do it. If it gets boring, I will just leave it as it is. I will not upload it. Anyways, so this will be just a smaller video, just a simple video. Example. Okay. What do you have is a steam power station has an overall efficiency of 20%. Overall efficiency of 20%. And 0.6 kilogram of coal is burned per kilowatt hour of electrical energy generated. 0.6 kilogram per kilowatt hour is the coal consumption. Which means for each unit of electricity produced you are spending 0.6 kilograms of coal calculate the calorific value of the coal calorific value of the coal is unknown so the calorific value is basically you know what this is in terms of kilocalories per kgs so let's see what do you have let x be the value let x be the calorific value let right yes so the heat produced heat produced would be what if x is the calorific value so the heat produced would be x times which means the calorific value times what 0.6 because 0.6 is the kgs per kilowatt so 0.6 times x kilocalories would be the heat produced if x is the calorific value of the fuel right yes we also know that one kilowatt hour one kilowatt hour is 860 kilo calories right yes now the overall efficiency basically the overall efficiency is what is the electrical output in terms of heat units right which I told you was electrical output in terms of heat units was Q0 divided by the heat of coal combustion which was I told you the heat rate or the heat input which was written as Q. So the heat rate or the heat of coal combustion so have a look is 0.6 I told you is per kilogram per kilowatt hour so 0.6 multiplied the calorific value is this one so have a look eta is 0 0.20 electrical equivalent is what it's 860 for 1 kilowatt hour and this is 0 0.6 times x so have a look x I can calculate is the calorific value is 860 divided by 0 0.20 multiply 0 0.6 the calorific value comes out to be 7166 7166 something in the decimal as well kilograms per kgs is that fine it is next example a thermal power station has the following data the maximum demand is 20,000 kilowatts or 20 megawatts 20,000 kilowatts let's say how the book has written the load factor is 40 percent boiler efficiency 85 percent turbine efficiency 90% coal consumption is what is 0 0.9 kilograms per unit produced and the cost of one ton of coal cost of per ton of coal is rupees 300 which is I don't know how have they written it anyways determine the thermal efficiency and the coal bill per annum so number one the thermal efficiency is unknown and the second is the coal bill per annum so have a look so first for the thermal efficiency what would you do thermal cycle includes the boiler and the 
and the turbine so the thermal efficiency eta thermal would be the eta boiler multiplied by eta turbine which is 0 0.85 multiply 0 0.90 this comes out to be 0 0.765 or which is 76.5 percent is the thermal efficiency now for the coal bill you need to know the the total coal consumed and the total coal consumed is a, in terms of the uh, kilowatt hours so you need to know the total kilowatt hours so have a look the total kilowatt hours e is equal to fld load factor into maximum demand into time we are talking of annual basis so 8760 e comes out to be 7008 into 10 to the power 4 kilowatt hours fine yes this is the electrical energy consumed so the coal consumption per year the coal consumption per year would be what would be 0 0.9 kilograms or per kilowatt hour so for total kilowatt hours it would be 0 0.9 multiplied by the total e so this comes out to be how much uh, 63072 6307200 kgs or equivalently you can write them in terms of tons so 63072 tons wow how much tons are they utilizing coal 63072 right yes so the annual coal bill will come out to be what annual coal bill this would come out to be the number of tons are 63072 multiplied with the cost per ton is rupees 300 which is very low it would be about 20,000 to 25,000 today and multiply it what factor do you get over here you are getting 189 189216 rupees units 10 100,000 10,000 100,000 million 10 million 18 million rupees this is about 20 million rupees on only the calculation of 300 rupees per ton what would you get on 25,000 rupees per ton do the calculations I told you a huge amount of corruption is involved over here anyways next example please a power station spends rupees 30 lakh per annum a power station spends rupees 30 lakh 30 lakh means 30 into 10 to the power 5 per annum for coal used in the station per annum this is what is for the coal charges in the station the coal has calorific value of 5000 kilograms 5000 kilocalories per kilogram I'm not interested in the unit and costs rupees 300 per ton fine if the station has a thermal efficiency of 33 percent the station has a thermal efficiency of 33 percent and an electrical efficiency of 90 percent find the average load on the station fine so first of all overall efficiency would be what overall efficiency this would be the product of the two which is what which would come out to be 0.297 yes so very small value 0.297 approximated to 30 percent this is the overall efficiency now what do you have you can find out the coal used per annum from the formula coal used per annum coal used per annum you can find it out by the total cost you are doing it 30 into 10 to the power 5 and divide it by the cost per ton is 300 so this would give you the to total cost divided by the cost per ton would give you the coal in tons that is being used this gives you 10 to the power 4 tons 10 to the power 4 tons or 10 to the power 7 kilograms right yes now the heat of combustion heat of combustion i told you 
heat of combustion q is equal to what uh, uh, the formula was that the mass of the fuel was q upon the calorific value so over here q would be the mass of the fuel mf divided by the calorific value Q, yes, so 10 to the power 7 multiply 5000. 10 to the power 7 multiply 5000. This gives you what? 5 into 10 to the power 10 kilo calories. Yes, yes, sir. Now, what do you have? The heat output. Heat output, I told you, N if from eta formula Q naught upon Q. So the heat output Q naught this would be eta which is 0 0.30 i have supposed it to be uh, multiply q is 5 into 10 to the power 10 and this is equal to uh, 1485 into 10 to the power 7 kilo calories the units generated per annum so the units generated per annum are e so this would come equal to what kilo calories converted to electrical units so 1485 into 10 to the power 7 divided by 860 comes out to be what and they've not written it they've not written it anyways anyways so this comes out to be e this is let's say x this is let's say x so we are uh, uh, interested in the power so power is basically the energy units per unit time so x divided by year 8760 hours in a year you have 1971 kilowatts so 1971 kilowatt this is the average load on the power station so basically the power is unknown so what do you do is uh, you need to know the energy units why because you have to divide energy units by time for energy units what do you need you need the equivalent heat output q naught so for q naught what do you need for q naught you need the heat input q for q what do you need for q you need the mass of the fuel for mass of the fuel you have calculated to this formula to total cost divided by the cost per ton go in the reverse order you will understand have it a look once again you will understand it better 2.4 let it be whatever this is talking about evaporation and this and that a hundred megawatt steam station uses a coal off a hundred megawatt station uses a coal with a calorific value of 6400 kilocalories per kilogram thermal efficiency of the station is 30 percent and electrical efficiency is how much 92 percent calculate the coal consumption per hour coal consumption per hour when the station is delivering at its rated power so first of all overall overall efficiency would be the product of the 2.3 multiply 0.92 comes out to be what 0 0.276 0 0.276 this is the overall efficiency now the units generated in an hour so e i would just take it to be the unit generated into hour i would take by the formula e is equal to p into time so i have 100 into 10 to the power 3 and time one hour so the same 100 uh, into 10 to the power 3 kilowatt hours are the units generated per hour heat produced per hour heat produced per hour have a look heat produced per hour this would be what this would be the electrical output in heat units electrical output in heat units divide by the overall efficiency again the same formula this is uh, this is q this is q naught right yes so this would come from this this is uh, 10 to the power 5 right i would write it 10 to the power 5 kilowatt hours so convert this over here q naught would be 10 to the power 5 multiply 87 uh, multiply 860 860 so this would be kilocalories right yes so the uh, heat 
input or the heat rate or the heat produced per hour for the cold combustion would be what would be this thing that is 10 to the power 5 multiply 860 divided by the overall efficiency which is 0 0.276 and this would come out to be 311 into 10 to the power 6 311 into 10 to the power 6 kilo calories right yes now the coal consumption per hour so from the mass of the formula so the coal consumption per hour which means the mass of the fuel per hour is what it's q which is this thing 311 into 10 to the power 6 divided by the calorific value which is given is 6400 is what is 48687 four eight six eight seven kilograms one two three you can write it approximately 48 tons 49 tons i would write it for a safety purpose i would equate it to 50 tons i hope this is clear isn't it it is again go in the opposite order you will understand it better you need the coal consumption per hour you need the mass of the fuel required mass of the fuel is q upon cv you have cv what about q q you calculate from the overall efficiency which is given but for that you need to have q naught q naught comes out from where from the q naught is the heat equivalent of the electrical output so q naught comes out from e and e you find from what from p into t if you were given the load factor so you would be using the other formula f l d to make some demand at time so do this just go in the little opposite order i just made it a little confusing maybe take those two formulas those two formulas are the standard for you or they are the reference for you whatever is unknown just go according to them all right yes so i finish this video over here i will see you in the next video with whatever the topic may be i think they, that is the cost minimum function or whatever it is so see you there very soon till then take care of yourselves everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the channel goodbye